Welcome back to Benny's Custom Works, proudly supported by Valvoline and Spares Box. Don't forget Benny5 on checkout. This week, we're back on the Falcon. We've got a few little housekeeping things to do with it. Uh, it's about to hit the market, so there's a few things I want to actually finish and fix up on it. As usual, every project car ever, you never really do everything 100%, and then at the last minute, you finish it and realize how good it is just before you sell it. Uh, so today's going to be no different. We're actually going to be fixing one of the most common things ever to go wrong on a Ford Falcon, uh, FG specifically, uh, in this case, Mark II, uh, specifically relating to the ICC. We're also gonna be replacing the front sway bar links and the front D bushes because there's still a knock in the front end, even after all of the stuff we've done to it. And I've kind of tolerated it for a while, but we're gonna fix it today. Um, but we're gonna start with the head unit. Then we're gonna do all the front end stuff. Then we're gonna go home and have a nap because it's two days before I go to America. So by the time you guys are watching this, I'm gonna be in the US, probably at PRI or in Houston. So in the future, when you're watching this, I'm not gonna be here. Let's dive in. Or you'll be back. Or I'll be back. As it turns out, I am back. The USA trip was pretty awesome. Uh, there's gonna be tons of content coming out for that. But back to the episode. Looks like it's already been to some sort of a, like a repair shop. Uh, the screen's dying these, the FG Mark II screens are terrible. So this, in the case of my particular car, which is a very common thing, you if your battery goes flat or you replace the battery, a lot of the times what will happen is you'll power the car up post battery replacement or jump start, and the top screen will either be dull or completely um, blanked out basically. Um, the reason for that is basically there's an internal failure in the screen. I don't know exactly what causes it, um, but there's a few companies around the country that repair and rebuild the screens. So we've actually got an exchange screen that we're going to swap into this housing today because they're that common. They, they literally have them on the shelf ready to go and you just tell them what car you've got and they send a replacement out and hopefully it's even going to work. If this has already been rebuilt once and then it's going back to the same people, it'll be very interesting. Why, same sticker? Or? It is different, but it's, it's similar coding. Now, I've got our original screen out and our replacement screen here. This is not a brand new unit. The, the company that uh, did this one actually remanufactured them, so they've obviously pulled the dead ones apart and worked out what components are most common to fail, and they rebuild them. Um, as I kind of said, I, I touched on it a little bit. I think this one's actually already been remanufactured once before because the OEM part number stickers and all the ID stickers have been removed from it. Um, and it's also got like an aftermarket job reference sticker on the top, um, much like what's on this one. So potentially it's even the same company that's done both of them. Um, but yeah, this one's pretty much ready to go. Um, I think this one will actually have the FPV logo come up on it as well instead of the Ford logo. So. Uh, we'll see what happens with that. I did request that, but who knows? We'll uh, throw it in and continue assembling. That's what it looks like when it's not covered in scum. Oh god, it's a long way down when you're old. And we're on. Now we're gonna power it up and check the operation and set the time and the date. Yay, it works again. The clock and date is really easy on these, eh? That looks like a great system. I know, how good is it? It's really logical and easy to do. That's not a light sway bar.
We've got a few more tasks done on the Falcon. It's nearly ready for sale. It is going to go to paint and get a bit of a detail and some uh, minor touch-ups. But uh, yeah, it's it's pretty much done. It's uh, it's been a really good car and I've really enjoyed it. But the uh, the replacement's nearly here, so I'm pretty excited to a get into a new car. So it'll be, it will be the first new car I've ever owned. Uh, and yeah, we'll do we'll do some light mods. We're not going to go crazy. It's definitely not going to evolve into this. Uh, but yeah, it'll be pretty cool. And it's not diesel. That's probably going to give way too much away. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.